So we just did an example, or we introduced the idea of an average velocity and instantaneous velocity. The average velocity is just an old fashioned find the slope between two points. And then instantaneous is we're gonna be trying to find um, the slope as you are kind of squeezing the distance between these two values, right? And usually you kind of lock one and then you kind of pull the other one down. Um, and then that is us right here, taking this value and we're gonna get closer and closer to one. So we're gonna take the two, make it a 1.5, 1 1.1, 1 1, and we're gonna squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, which is making our slope become a specific value. So the idea is, is that we just found slopes of secant lines. So just to kind of refresh your memory on what a secant line is, a secant line is just like a geometry idea. Um, it, it's defined as a geometry, that it's a line that connects two points on a graph. So if you have, if this is your starting point, then any of these three points are creating these secant lines. Right, and we found different slopes here. So when we found average velocity, we were finding some secant lines. But when we are finding the tangent line, the idea of a tangent line is a line that touches the graph at one point, right? It grazes it, just like you saw or learned in a geometry class. So if we start to squeeze these points and we get infinitely close to this one, so there's almost no distance between them, we are making an instantaneous um, velocity happen, right? So to do that is our average velocity is the slope of a secant and our instantaneous velocity is the slope of the tangent. To do it is we are going to make it a limit. So we are gonna squeeze the difference between them, locking one of the values and squeezing the other value closer and closer and closer to it. So it becomes a limit, right? And so as of right now, the only way we have to figure out that slope is to plug a bunch of values. Eventually, we'll learn some calc that will um, ease this cause here, ease this pain here a little bit, right? So, um, and let me share a Desmos. Kind of give you another visualization of this, right? So, um, so let's say you have some sort of a curve and we have this equation. Eventually, we'll talk about all these pieces to it. Um, but this is your graph. This is your visual. And right now, we have a secant line. Right, so if I take that point and I start to squeeze it, um, which is gonna be this value, if I start to squeeze it, I start to get closer and closer and closer to my instantaneous rate, all right? Now the program is not programmed to tell me what the instantaneous rate is. It kind of has some limitations to it, but calculus will be able to tell us how to do this, right? So the further out I go, the less kind of more erratic that this slope doesn't match this thing at all. Right, like that's not a good representation. We don't have a negative slope at this point. So the closer I can get to the original point, the more accurate my instantaneous, or the more accurate uh, my slope's going to be, which is then becoming an instantaneous rate of change. Right, that's it.